Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are doing a guide for Nordic, this guild boss here. I did one for the first guild boss, but I kind of skipped the second one because I am still not very comfortable with him. I'm pretty sure you need a magic team and, and my magic is lacking quite a bit. Um, so I kind of skipped him, but we're going to be moving on to Nordic because he definitely needs physical. So he's kind of the opposite of Nubis in that regard. Quickly, we're going to take a look at his skills. Uh, the only one that's really dangerous here is actually Destroyer of Magic, and this is the reason why you need physical heroes. Because every time this monster takes magic damage, he will silence the enemy for one second as well as deal im damage to them. So even if you have a full physical team and your healer isn't Mediana, your healer, every time he attacks him, will just get chain silenced until they die. So there might be a way around that, like if you can somehow get like Frey's uh, CC shield up, maybe she can avoid that silence, but in my experience I also tried Frey with him before I had Mediana and it just didn't work out that well. I think the closest I came to actually having a workable team was with Lias, again before I had Mediana, because of course Mediana is going to be by far the best here, since she's the only healer that isn't magic. Again there might be a way around it, but I haven't figured anything out like that yet. Another option if you don't have Mediana is is to go with a full physical team and no healer. This would, however, mean giving your tank at least some lifesteal and trying to get your tank somewhat offensive so his lifesteal actually does something. So Claws, I don't know, maybe there's a way for him to lifesteal enough to keep himself alive because the rest of his skills aren't too big of a deal, honestly. Uh, the mana shield gets killed pretty quickly if you have enough DPS. The Ray of Darkness doesn't do too much damage as long as your DPS have lifesteal so they can heal it up. And the Mana Tempest, again, I mean, it has a 45 second cooldown so he won't get it off too often anyway, and it's really not that big of a deal either. So his skills, except for the Destroyer of Magic, aren't really anything to be too concerned with. So hopefully we can enter this raid now. Someone was in just a second ago. I believe this is our team. We have set everyone up. I'll show you their gear and stuff after this demonstration fight. I might speed it up a little bit and try and edit that in a way so it's a little, a little bit faster. But basically, I don't really feel a need to control them manually. I think they're actually okay on auto, like full auto. So like I, I don't really do anything but I haven't fought this guy in a while, so I may I might be wrong. Maybe there's some things you need to tank and stuff like that. So so we're just gonna go through it. You can watch it here again. It'll probably be sped up over my commentary, so I'm not gonna bother trying to say oh there's where this attack is or there's where that attack is, <laughs> because obviously it won't time up quite right. So personally, I'm going with two full DPS, a tank and a healer. Again, Mediana is gonna be the only good healer here because all other healers are just gonna get silenced and silenced and silence until they die so if you don't have mediana i would recommend just not going with a healer at all and hopefully your tank can take care of themselves for at least a while just go full damage just try and do as much damage as you can without healing basically and uh just see where that takes you so yes his skills do do quite a lot of damage my mitra almost died from what i was seeing there of course you might not be seeing the same thing but, but Mitra got very close to dying. He may have only survived due to Mediana's buff. If Mediana gave him the buff, I'm not sure if Gladi maybe doesn't usually get it. His skills definitely do do a lot of damage, but I'm willing to take the risk and just go super offensive because you can get these high numbers, like it may be there already. Uh, so as I'm watching it now, we have about a minute and 20 to go. Uh, we might be able to break 10 billion, it looks like potentially, and that would be actually a first for me on hard mode, so that would be actually quite awesome. Let's do this, guys, and I believe we will in just a second here. Damn, that goes quite nice. I got Mitra's unique weapon up to two stars, uh, like yesterday. Oh, there goes Philop. So Philop just died on my end, uh, so that's not going to be going so well anymore, but I think we'll probably break 12 billion, almost. Come on, go for it. Yes. All right, we broke 12 billion. That's actually very good. Uh, for me, at least. Let's start with the healer, Mediana. So here's her gear. I decided to go with earrings because she doesn't actually get hit all that often. It's actually mostly Mitra, but I also want him in earrings, of course. It's not all perfect stuff. Um, well, that one is. That one has HP. It's not too bad. This one doesn't have its uh, subs maxed yet. Basically, Mediana is built very offensively. She has 141k attack, 60 crit. Could be higher, doesn't really need to be in my opinion, a uh, little bit of penetration, so basically her job is to heal, and she can heal well enough with these stats uh, from what I have experienced, so 
yeah, that's Mediano's job is to heal. Next, we have Mitra. He is also obviously going to be very offensive. 155 attack, it could be higher, but I only recently started focusing on Mitra. He still needs a few uh, ancient runes there. This one has lifesteal instead of attack, and these earrings have penetration instead of attack. I don't think I have a single pair of perfect earrings, so with crit, crit damage, attack, and attack speed, so I kind of have to give up on something somewhere. So he could have a lot higher attack, but um, it's good enough at the moment. Crit is important, that that's as high as possible, so he should have max crit. So he should have 100% in battle with Mediana's uh, T2 perk. Uh, crit damage is fine, so yeah. Penetration could be a bit higher as well, but then I have to give up on some other stats, so it's kind of hard. Uh, max attack speed is good to get his stacks a bit faster, and yeah. You can also check out the transcend perks. I have him at 11312, higher max damage for this. I'm actually not too sure about uh, the T4 skill. I went ahead and went for this one because there's almost always only one enemy when I'm having Mitra with me, so it's like, and since I'm on auto most of the time, he will be using Bing Bing as soon as it's off cooldown, so yeah. And of course, Dark, this one is good. Medion is another one that I'm not too sure about her perks, but uh, 12212 is what I have for her. This one's more for Arena, even though it doesn't work all the time, because I guess this is dispellable, her CC immunity. So if I use it and the enemy Scarlet uses her S2, which dispels the CC immunity, then it's kind of like useless but I'm not too sure. It's been working okay for me so far, so I'm gonna keep it like that. Again, that's mostly for Arena, not for anything else. But there is CC everywhere, so even in Guild Raid, it probably does do something. And this is also more for Arena. I probably would rather go for this one for like PvE, but I can almost never get this skill off in any Arena matches, so I thought it was pretty useless for that. But this one does get off sometimes, so it's like, eh, 10% more attack, it's not bad. And of course, the dark perk here. Gladi again isn't really clear cut, but I have him at 1, 4, 3, 2, 2. I think for most of the places I take Gladi, this is the best one. Again, 100% more damage when there's one enemy, which there is a lot of the time. This one obviously works great everywhere. Just a nice amp there. And then his dark perk uh, increases defense by 8% of attack. I noticed this does help his survivability quite a lot, and he is in the front, so he kind of needs it. Uh, 8 percent of 142k actually isn't that small when it goes into solo numbers such as P and M defense, so I think it's good. I think I prefer it over the light, even though I know some people take the light over the dark. Uh, I prefer the dark. And finally, we have Philop, which is actually a pretty new addition to my team. I got him just a few weeks ago. Um, I don't have his unique weapon yet, but I think I think it is pretty pretty good. Uh, especially for longer fights, gets like some kind of weird dragon rage stuff, as far as I remember. So I kind of want to get his unique weapon as soon as possible. Here are his stats, uh, just pure defensive, 4.8 million HP. Uh, you can see all the other stuff there, some P block, which doesn't really help uh, in, the, in that guild boss. You need some M block or M tough or whatever. So yeah, just pretty general stuff there. HP, experienced fighter, kind of typical for a tank. And I decided to go for this perk just because it seemed like the best out of them. Another 20% amp for P damage, which is good. And the arrests kind of are more focused on Philop dealing damage himself, I guess based on his HP or so. And uh, my Philop isn't really meant to do damage, he's meant to debuff and tank. I know there are some pretty impressive uh, deal ops, they call them, so Philops that deal damage but mine's not that. Ricardo would be another good option for a tank because he is physical and he helps protect against magic with his skills. So Ricardo, Claws, Philop, those are some good tanks. Roy, Mitra, Gladi would be good DPS for this. Nyx too, if you don't have anyone else. He's not so good on the single target side, but he is still a strong physical attacker regardless, so he would do fine there. Could also have Priscilla in there as a support and amp for your main physical DPS. And the only healer I could really recommend is Mediana. Like I said a little while ago, I did try with Elias and she was okay. I think eventually like she stopped getting silenced or something. I'm not sure exactly how it works because I only went in with her like once, one time, and that's all I experienced, so. But yeah, in summary, this boss, if you have the right heroes, isn't much of a problem. Uh, skeleton masks work on him as he is a skeleton. I, that's something I should have mentioned a little bit earlier, but yes, skeleton, he is a skeleton, so. 
get your skeleton masks on. Have Mediana for this boss. If you don't have Mediana, maybe it might just be best to let the rest of your guild members go for it and just don't attack it unless you have no choice. If you don't have Mediana or Lias, I would just go in with th like three DPS and a tank and just do as much damage as you can in as short time as possible and see if that works out. But yeah, if you want to give your own advice or if there's something you think I missed, then uh, feel free to drop that in the comments down below, leaving your own suggestions, advice, etc. Then yeah, feel free. Leaving a like would also be greatly appreciated if you did happen to enjoy. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.